everybody, it's Dizzy, and I've got another pen curl brush out for you guys today. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because in addition to getting some fun color into my hair for spring, I also did a little bit of a haircut. So my hair is now layered three inches all around my whole head. So it's a uniform layered haircut, which means that it was held out and then cut to three inches all the way around. And I'm hoping I can get some of those shorter kind of 50s looks. Now, the things I just took out at the bottom were these rollers. And they were at the very, very bottom. They're just my tiny Velcro rollers. The set is three rolls of pen curls that are stand up going this way. There's a side part. And then these curls are rolled forward, forward, and then the back is just rolled clockwise curls. And I tried to roll them kind of big. It's my cat knocking over a cup. I'm back. Okay, so I'm gonna start taking them out. So the idea behind this was um, anytime you bleach your hair to put crazy colors in it, it gets a little damaged. So I just wanted to cut off some of that damage. And I figured now that it's getting warmer, this is the perfect time to do this kind of shorter look because it will grow out and I figure by fall, it'll be about five inches all the way around, which is kind of where I like it when I wear it longer. But I had tried kind of doing the more bob look and it, it didn't really work as well. So I wanted to get back to kind of a uniform layered haircut. So yeah. So this is my first time pen curling it since it's been this short this time. So I want to see kind of what I get. Okay, so I'm just going to break up the curls. I curled my hair when it was wet and I just wore a little bit of, um, I just put a little bit of mousse in it. This haircut reminds me of like Audrey Hepburn when hers was really short or Ava Gardner when it was at its shortest. So yeah, Ooh, that's pretty cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my Denman styling brush. If my hand looks super dirty, it's because I was swatching some eyeshadows. So I'm just brushing this forward. Brushing this forward. Down in the back. It also looks like if you've seen like the pilot of Twin Peaks, Audrey Horn's hair is at first about this length and then it grows out. And uh, that's, that's kind of awesome. Anytime I can look more like Audrey Horn, I'm very happy. I don't want to lose too much curl. And since I'm going for kind of a 50s look, I don't want it to be too perfect either. I feel like that's the key difference between like trying to go 1950s and trying to go 1940s is how kind of perfect the curls are. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of pomade and just start kind of smoothing it a little bit. This is the Beyond the Zone Retro Vinyl Pomade and I get this at Sally's. It's just a very light one and uh, it doesn't weigh down my hair too badly since I have fine hair. So I'm just using that over the parts that might be a little frizzy. I'm just kind of scrunching it into the hair. It gives me a little bit of shine and also a little control. I 
any of you are curious about my hair color, it is Manic Panic's Hot Hot Pink. And I put a review up. It was my last video, so I can link to that. But, um, I did the color and then I cut it. So I wasn't really sure how I was going to look with the cut. But I think it's, it's pretty fun. We'll see. Oh wow, I've even seen some really short haired Marilyn Monroe styles that almost look like this too. So let's see, let's look at the back of it because I can't see the back. <laughs> let's see if it's any good back there. That's pretty good. Got something on my mouth, huh? It's hair. So there we go. This is the front. There's a side. There's the back. And here's the other side. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, I think that this haircut's officially a success. I've been wearing it when it's um, down. It just kind of looks like a grown-out pixie or even like the shorter version of like the Alice Cullen hair from like Twilight, especially on my hair because it's naturally wavy, so it like flips out, it looks crazy, which I like, I'll wear it like that too, but I wanted to see if I could still get something a little bit more vintage and sophisticated with it. And it turns out I'm gonna call that a win. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and comment down below and subscribe and let me know what you want to see me do next and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.